So, <clears throat> I'm going to book it, you not, right? Uh oh, my bad. My bad, you guys. Um, I'm in the book of Enoch. Uh, um, Enoch chapter 20, verse 1. And it says, These are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels, who is over the world and over Tartarus, hell. Raphael, one of the holy angels, who is over the spirits of men. Rugiel, one of the holy angels who takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries, the angels. Michael, one of the holy angels to which he that is set over the best part of mankind and over chaos. Serachiel, one of the holy angels who set over the spirits who sin in the spirit. Gabriel, one of the holy angels who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubims, the angels. Yeah. And Rumiel, one of the holy angels, who God set over those who rise, those who are resurrected. Okay? So these are the seven angels that are over the seven churches. Yeah. All right? And that's what uh, uh, Christ was talking about in Revelations. All right? That's that understanding. Now I'm going to go into something else. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through all of their functions. You can go over that later if you want to. But I'm going to go to Enoch um, Enoch 103 hmm. I'm going to go to 103 And 10, 103 and 10, all right? It says, and we have been destroyed and have not found any help to us, all right? No, 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 let me go back. I want to go to 9, sorry. Enoch 103 and 9, it says, say not in regards to the righteous and good who are living, it says, in life. In our troubled days, that means age, hour, we have toiled, we have worked laboriously hard and experienced every trouble and met with much evil and been consumed and have become few and, and our spirit small. And we have been destroyed. Who has been destroyed? The Israelites. And have not found any help, any, any to help us, even with a word. We have been tortured and destroyed and not hoped to see life from day to day. We hope to be the head and have become the tail. We have toiled, that means we labored, laboriously, we worked hard and had no satisfaction in our toil and our work. And we have become the food of the sinners and the unrighteous and they have laid their yoke heavily upon us harsh upon us they have had dominion they have rulership over us that hated us and smote us they beat us and to those that hated us we have bowed our necks but they pitied us not they didn't care we desire to get away from them that we might escape and be at rest be at peace but found no place whereunto we should run or escape and be safe from them. We complain to the rulers, the leaders, the governors, the presidents in our tribulation, in our persecution, and we cried out against those who devoured us, who destroyed us, but they did not attend, they didn't hear or, or listen to our cries and would not hearken, they didn't hear to our voices. They didn't heed it. And they helped those who robbed us and devoured us and those who made us few. And they concealed their oppression. They hid it. And they did not remove from us the yoke, the bondage of those that devoured us and dispersed us and murdered us. They killed us. And they got away free. And they 
they concealed, they hid their murder and remembered not that they had lifted up their hands against us. All right. I'm going to read the note on that. All right. That's 14 and 15. Okay. It says you have helped. Actually, it'll say they have helped. It says you have helped. So like Al Sharpton and these other politicians that's supposed to be with us, the coons, they have helped. Yes. All right. Those who robbed and devoured us and those who made us few. All right. So let me let me um hold on. Let me let me get it. It says um it says here. Uh, uh, um, it says the rulers appear as the divinely appointed leaders of the righteous. Here they are shown as the aiders, they're the helpers, all right, of the prosecutors. They help the prosecutors uh, 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 prosecute us. Yeah. It says, these enemies are the Sadducees. They're one sect of Israel, all right? The Sadducees and sinners and apostates and paganizers, all right? of the pharisaic party they supposed to be on our side but they're helping the other side destroy us for what for mammon for the luxuries of uh, of this world for a time <laughs> all right so i'm gonna read it again they helped those who robbed us and devoured us and those who made us few and they concealed they hid their oppression, those that are oppressing us, and they did not remove from us the bondage, the laws of those that devour us, and they dispersed us, they scattered us and murdered us, they killed us, and they hid the murder of those that were murdering us. <laughs> These are other black people, right. coons, right. Israelites, religious Christians. And remember not that they lifted up their hands against us. And Enoch says, I swear unto you that in heaven, the angels remember you for good. They remember who good for good? The righteous, the Israelites, the saints. Before the glory of the great one. That means the most high. And your names are written before the glory of the great one. Be hopeful. For aforetime you were put to shame through ill and affliction persecution but now you shall shine as the lights of heaven right we're going to be those lights in the menorah the light is in us which is christ you shall shine and you shall be seen and the portals the gates of heaven that's what the portals are they're going to open up the gates of heaven shall be open to you to who the righteous and then your cry uh in your cry we should be crying right now the Israelites right now, we should be crying for judgment. And it will appear, it's going to show to you. For all your tribulations shall be visited on the rulers and on all who helped those who, who robbed you. It's going to come back on them. You're going to reap what you sow, uh, Edom and wicked Israelites. It says, be hopeful and cast not away your hope. Hold on to your hope, to your belief. For ye shall... Have great joy as the angels of heaven. What shall be obliged? It said, what shall be asked of you? What shall you do? Right? You shall not have to hide in the day of great judgment. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to run. You're not going to hide in great judgment. And you shall not be found as sinners. And the eternal judgment shall be far from you. For all the generations of the world. And, and, and now fear not, ye righteous. When you see the sinners growing strong, don't be sad when you see them uh, prospering in their ways. Be not companions with them. Don't be friends with them neither. But keep far from their violence, for you shall become friends of the host of heaven. You're going to become, become friends of the army of the sky of heaven, all right, of the most high. And although you sinners say all our sins shall not be searched out, found out, and be written down, 
However, nevertheless, they shall be written down all your sins every day. Every day. The angels are recording. So we ain't got to worry about that. We should be happy. All right? Because we get the victory and because we're with the Most High. All right? So now, let me get the, the, the end of this right here. We're gonna yeah. get we're gonna get the festival uh, um, of lights, and we're gonna get it out of the Josephus. All right. So just give me a second. And let me get it. Give me a second to get it. So, where is it at? How far I want to go? All right, I'm in the book of Josephus, um, twelve, seven, and seven. All right. Now, it says, Now Judah celebrated the festival of the restoration of the sacrifice of the temple for eight days and omitted no sort of pleasure thereon. That means he had, you had any kind of pleasure you wanted during the feast days. Was not this Judas Maccabeus? Yes, Judas Maccabeus. But he, feast, he feasted them upon very rich and splendid sacrifice gifts. And he honored God, the Most High, Yah, or Ahiah, and delighted them by hymns. He, they sang songs. And, and they, they were so very glad at the revival of their customs or their traditions, when after a long time of intermission, they unexpectedly had regained their freedom of their worship, that they made it a law, a commandment for their children, that they should keep a festival on a record of the restoration restoration of their temple the church all right and worship for eight days and from that time to this we celebrate this festival and call it lights some people call it a feast of dedication some call it call it hanukkah i suppose the reason was because this liberty this is the reason why the freedom beyond our hopes our belief appeared to us it, it happened to us and that then was the name given to the festival. Judas also rebuilt the walls around about the city and reared towers of great height against, against the incursion of the enemies and set guards therein. He also fortified the city, Bethshura, that it might serve as a citadel against any distress that might come from our enemies. All right. So that is the festival of lights right there. It gives you it uh, uh, sweet and simple right there. All right. So let's get this last one out the way. Nine, seven. All right, let's get seven. All right, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what the heathen did when they took over the temple. All right, what they did when they took over the temple is this. It says in um, the wars of Josephus or the wars of the Jews in the book of of Josephus seven five and five, uh, verse one twenty nine. It says. After which prayers Vespasian made a short, a short speech to all the people and then sent away the soldiers to a dinner prepared for them by the emperors. These are the Romans. Then did he retire to the gate, which was called the gate of Pomp, because pompous shows do always go through, this, through that gate. There it was that they tasted some food, and when they had put on their tribunal garments, their victory garments, and had offered gifts to the gods, not to the Most High, to gods. 
that were placed at the gate, they sent triumph forward and marched through the theaters that they might be the more easily seen by the crowd. Now it is impossible to describe the crowd of the shows as they deserve and the magnificence of them all, such indeed as man could not easily think of as performed either by the work of workmen or the, var the variety of riches or the rarities of nature. For almost all such curiosities that the most happy man ever get by piecemeal were here heaped upon another, and those both admirable and costly in their nature and all brought together on that day demonstrated the vastness of the dominions of the Romans, for there was here to be seen a mighty and mighty quantity of silver and gold, ivory, uh, contrived in all sorts of things that did not appear as carried along in pompous show only. So uh, basically a parade, all right? But as a man may say, running like a river, some parts were composed of the rarest purple hangings and so carried along and others accurately represented to the life what was embroidered by the arts of Babylonians. There were also precious stones that were transparent, some set in crowns of gold and some in other, in other ouches of the workmen pleased. And of these, such a vast, a, a large number were brought. They could not but then learn how vain, empty or unvaluable we imagine any of them to be rarities. The images of the gods were also carried, being as well wonderful for their largeness as made, as, as made very artificially with great skill of the workmen, nor were any of these images of, of, of any other than very costly you know they're very luxurious very um expensive materials and many species of animals were brought everyone in their own <laughs> natural ornaments the men also who brought every one of these shows were greatly uh, multitudes and adorned with purple garments all over interwoven with gold those that were chosen for carrying these pompous shows having also about them such magnificent ornaments as were both extraordinary and surprising. Besides these, one might see the, that even the great number of the captives was not adorned, while the variety that was in the garments and the fine texture concealed from the sight of the deformity of their bodies, but, was, but what afforded the greatness surprise of all was the structure of the pageants that were born along for indeed he that met them could not but be afraid that the bear the carriers would not be able to firmly enough to support them such was their magnitude for many of them were so made that they were on three or even four stories one above another um, the, the largeness also of the structure afforded one both pleasure and surprise for upon many of them were laid carpets of gold there were also done gold and ivory fastened about them all, and many resemblance of the war, in those several ways and variety of the plans, affording mostly lively portrait of literature, um, of literature itself. For there was to be seen a happy country laid waste, and entire squadrons of enemies killed, while some of them ran away and some of them carried into slavery with walls of great altitude and magnitude overthrown and ruined by machines, with the strongest fortifications taken and the walls of the most populous cities upon the top of the hills uh, seized on, and the army pouring itself within the walls, as also every place full of slaughter, death, and the supplications of the enemies. When they were no longer able to lift up their hands in way of op opposition, fire also sent upon the temples was here represented and houses overthrown and falling upon their own the owners rivers also after they came out of a large Macaulay desert ran down onto a land cultivated nor as drink for men and for cattle but through a land still on fire upon every side for the Jews related that such a thing they had undergone during this war. 
Now the workmanship of these representations was so magnificent and lively in the construction of the things that is example what ha had happened done had happened done to such as did not see it as if they had been there uh, really present. On the top of every one of these pageants was placed a commander of the 